YouTubers. This is a what's in my bag video for um, my the birthday present that I received from my aunt um, yesterday, which that makes it Saturday, uh, March 22nd. So the name of the bag is um, the Braided Shopper. It's made from the coated canvas material and this is the red color in the plaid print. As you can see, this is a nice large tote. And I'll give you the measurements of this tote. It's clean on both the front and the back. And it has the light shiny gold nameplate. It has nice long straps that are braided in like the Sierra colored leather. I added this tassel. I spoke on this tassel briefly in my previous video of my reveal. The, these two tassels came on a silver key ring and these came from Old Navy. And this ribbon is the ribbon that holds these tags. So I just saved the ribbon and I removed the keychain and I made this from it. I just thought that these two tassels, this is navy blue and this is like a deep teal green, went perfectly with this print and color of this bag. So let's get started. This is a nice large tote. It, these are the measurements from the top. It is approximately 18 inches in width from the top. It is approximately 12 inches in height. And the base is seven inches wide. And it has um, leather strips and four light shiny gold feet. Which I know Pecan Tan Beauty loves the feet on her bag, as do I, and as does uh, 49L Davis. They all love the feet on the bottom of their bags. So those are the dimensions, and we're going to dive inside the bag and see how much it holds. It's similar in construction to the Charleston tote, where it has this flap here that you do have the option to zip it up and make the bag more secure, which is a nice option. And if you don't want to use it that way, when you unzip it, this folds down and keeps itself out of the way which I use it like that the majority of the time. I don't zip it up. So what's inside is pretty much what I always carry inside, but as you can see, because this is a bigger bag than the Charleston and a bigger bag than, um, I, this is one of the biggest duties I actually own right now in my collection. Everything has room, like elbow room and wiggle room in this bag. Everything I fit in this bag, I can fit into my dome shopper, my Florentine. I can fit into my dome pebble leather satchel. But with those bags, they're a little bit more on top of each other, where in this bag, everything has room to breathe, and I can fit way more than this. So let's get started. I'm going to go inside. As you can see, what's inside here, mail, my camera case, my cosmetic pouch, This is a key pouch that I purchased from the dollar store and I added this ribbon. So now the keys are anchored inside the pouch and they do all fit inside the pouch, which I'll show you real quick. Just kind of wiggle it and jiggle it inside and there you have it. My key pouch that I purchased from the 99 cent store. My LV inspired wristlet slash wallet. And these two pouches here are holding one is holding my um, charger cord for my iPhone, and this one is holding my little yo-yo. And this is all in the main compartment of the bag, my store tags. And then on the back wall slip, my coin case, back wall zip. coupons and miscellaneous stuff, 
then the front wall pockets. This is the front of the bag. I have my card case. I have in the smaller pocket that I think is meant to be a cell phone pocket, I have my lip glosses and my lipsticks. And in this pocket I have my pen and another lip gloss. So there you have it. Oh, and here's a sticker also giving you the description of the bag that's um, referring to the bag number, the color red, and uh, the name of the bag, which is the Braided Shopper, in red. So there you have it. If you were thinking about this bag, and you were kind of on the fence about it, it's a nice, sizable tote. If you're a big bag girl or a big tote bag girl, then this bag is for you. It's made from that coated canvas. As you can see, it does look and feel like pebble leather. And if you get close, you can see it's um, what they call this line is their Graphica print. So if you get up close, you can see it's like cartoonish. But then as you pull back, it just reads a very lovely tartan-inspired plaid print. This is how it opens up, nice and wide. Everything's very visible. Every, everything's easily accessible. And with this bag, if we get nice and close, you can see that they used the golden yellow stitching. On the pebble leather dome satchel I purchased in the geranium, they had used the white stitching. Come to find out that they do alternate between the golden stitching and the white stitching. But I would prefer, um, I know it's such a small detail, but I would prefer the golden stitching over the white stitching. And the braided straps are long and a little bit wider than what they've been uh, doing, which makes this bag an easier and overall more comfortable carry. I highly recommend this. I'm so happy that I received this and I was genuinely surprised that I, that I got this as a birthday present this year. So there you have it. What's in my bag? What I received for my 39th birthday this year. Thanks for watching, YouTubers. Leave any comments or questions below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Talk to you later. Bye.